Russia once. Wow. Thanks, Gareth. Hi, lads. What's it like to be back in camp after the break? Um, obviously, it's 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 nice because you're coming on on good momentum from the the, the last round of fixtures and obviously top of the group as well. So looking at the table, it's, it, it gives you a, a positive feeling. Uh, look, we've got um, four games coming up now. You would probably say tougher than the the first four we've had. So. But going on top of the league, um, it gives a nice positive reaction. So uh, yeah, it's, it's it's good to be back, and it's it's, it's look forward to the, the this round of games coming up. Yeah, what what is the mindset, James, entering this game against Switzerland? Because obviously we're we're top of the group. Is there a sense that you know, it's a game that we we must not lose in a sense? No, maybe that's the view from the outside. Maybe that's what you think. But no, we're at home, and we're, like I said, we're we're top of the group. Um, and we won, won. Simple as that. If we won, it puts us in a, a nice, healthy position. Get under the last three games then. So, no, there's only one thing in our mind, and that's uh, trying to get a one on, on, on Thursday night. Cheers. James, when, when you come up against a team that's in and around the top ten, can you take inspiration from games like the Germany game, the Italy game in, in the recent past? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, obviously that, it's obviously nice in the past that we know we can get results against teams like that, but I think, I think when you play the kind of the so-called bigger sides and you're you're kind of probably not given as much of a chance, that kind of rallies you up a bit and thinks well, gives you an extra bit of motivation to say well, you know we want to go out here and show that we're a good side, that we've got good players as well, and put it up against them, and it gives a good opportunity on 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 first day we're at home to go out there and put it up against them, and you know test ourselves and see how we get on and try and get that one. Do you think as a team you're almost at your best when people don't, don't expect you to be getting anything out of again sometimes? I find that just in football, I think just in life, if someone questions you and tells you you can't do something or they don't give you much of a chance, you kind of find that extra motivation to say, well, I'm going to show you, I'm going, I'm going to show you that I can. So I think just naturally that kind of raises you up a bit more. So... Um, yeah, look, if the more people write us off and more people don't give us a chance, you know, the better us for us because, like I said, you know, it gives you that extra sense of motivation to say, well, I'm going to show you that we can and prove you wrong. Darren, can I just ask how life is uh, under Jonathan Woodgate at Middlesbrough? Yeah, so far so good. Um, I think we've been unlucky, uh, a few of the results that we've had so far. But uh, lots of positives to to take from from the games we've already played. Um, you know, getting used to a, a new style of uh, football that that he wants us to play. And how you found the contrast between him and Tony? Not not criticising Tony at all, but the different characters in in the way they go about it. They're both very much hands on. You know, they take the sessions, and um, probably the only difference is the. Is the the style of football? Um, you know, I think under under Tony we were a lot more you know com compact and and defensive minded, um, which enabled us to go and you know uh, where we'd stay in games and probably nick 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 some goals. Um, whereas now we're probably more expansive and and, and open and and attacking. Um, so I think all the lads are are enjoying it. It's a new new kind of experience um, for them, but uh, so far so good. What's it been like having Robbie around the place? A bit, a bit strange? Normal, I see him here and now I see him every day at the club, so it's uh, it's been normal. Um, all the rest of the lads like him, so he's he's, he's, he's fit straight into the into the club and into, into, into his role. Have you been showing him around? Uh, no, I haven't. He, he found his way around, you know, without, without needing my help. Um, so as I said, he settled in. He settled in just fine. Going into this game, that you're very much 
Or a, or no, I wouldn't say so. Um, personally, that's that's not my view. Personally, like I can't obviously I can't speak for for everyone, but no, like like I said, like I think now there's a good kind of atmosphere around the place in the sense of you know where you won every game we won day, and that's that's the aim. So and we're at home as well. So look. Confidence comes from winning games. Uh, we've won three so far. People might say, "Oh, well, two is against Gibraltar." And so what? We still won. So still, still that, still winning gives you confidence. So yeah, we're confident going to the game, and it's just an opportunity to get three points on the board and really grasp this opportunity now to, to try and go and uh, get another uh, European Championship. Obviously, with international games, there's always key players missing from from uh, both sides. It's happened to us over the last couple of years. So, when the team sees players like Shakiri and Zuber missing um, this week, is that is that a something that you, you sort of give an extra boost to confidence, or is it just very much like no business as usual? No, I think it's the the latter, just business as usual. Um, you know, they're still good players. You know, they're. Um, they're in the top ten ranking in the world for a reason, so they still got good players. So we have to we respect them, aye. We won't fear them, and we'll take the game to them. So it doesn't matter who's playing. Like that's that's the aim. We'll we're going to go out and impose ourselves on them, and um, yeah, do what we can and do what needs must. They by all means necessary to they, they, they get a result. James, could I just ask you about Stoke? Obviously, expectations really high again this season. Why hasn't it clicked? And, and do you think the manager will be given time to get things right? I certainly hope so. Um, look, I see every day how hard he works and how passionate he is. I could sit here very easily and blame the manager, but it's not always the manager's fault. You know, you could say, well, it's Nathan Jones' fault. No, it was Gary Wright's fault before that. Us as players need to look ourselves in the mirror and say, well, maybe here. There's a reason probably why Stokes had so many managers in a short period of time recently. We as players need to take responsibility. Um, this season we've made a lot of very basic, like horrendous uh, mistakes that led to goals, and you know that's the manager can kind of can envision that when he's when he's named the side and doing a formation. So now look, we need to step up and up to the plate, show character, and. and grab it by the scruff and but the managers look I, I like the manager and I, I do hope he's given time but if he's not and a new manager comes on then you know no matter who the manager is us as the players we need to take a look in the mirror and say well maybe we're the problem So Darren can I just ask you a quick question about um Playing against bigger teams, uh, you know, I suppose teams who, are, who pursue will come and, and, and attack Ireland, whether home or away. Um, naturally, at periods throughout the game, there's going to be a scenario where the defence takes a very deep, a deep line. Um, you know, oftentimes they'll be camped on the edge of the box. As a goalkeeper's perspective, would you rather them sort of step up a bit, give you a bit of space there to look, or does it give you a sort of a more protection, almost. Just from your perspective, how does that does, does it affect your sort of? There's going to be times in every game where you know you're going to need to defend, and you, you're going to have you know everybody behind the ball. Um, obviously, the, you mentioned earlier, be missing some key players. Still, doesn't mean they're not going to be good. They're not going to have periods in the game where they dominate the ball. Um, you know, you've seen with us in games in the past, we've been, we've defended for 10 minutes or whole parts of the game. Um, it's, it's part of football. Uh, you know, you'd, obviously, obviously, you don't want to be camped on the edge of your, your, your box for the whole game and uh, just inviting the pressure, but it's needed um, at times. I think we've shown we're more than capable of, of doing it when needed. But... Um, that's not to say we're just going to go out on Thursday and just sit back and defend. I think we've shown already we're we're uh, we're out to attack and you know cause problems when when we can and take it to take it to other teams. Yes, we'll respect them. I don't think we should go out there in in fear and just you know defend. We'll be definitely going there trying to trying to get a result. We're only halfway through the group. There's still lots to change teams to play each other. So um, we'll go out there obviously trying to win the game on Thursday and then go from there.
Hey James, do you think from Switzerland's point of view that they'll uh, look at coming to Dublin and getting a point as a good result, or do you think they'll come out and attack us? Thank you. Probably if they ask Demons that, I can, can't really speak for Lemons. I don't know what their mindset is, but um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't change our view on, on on what we need to do. Yeah. What about you, Darren? What do you what do you think? Again, like I said, I'm I'm not in their camp. I'm not in their head. I don't know what they think. They may think they should come here and win the game comfortably. Um, but again, that's that's down to them. We'll we, we'll have our own our own game plan, our own, our own like the own, our own way of, of on how we, we're going to play, um, how they view us, how they view the game, or their thoughts on the game. I'm not really too bothered about, to be honest. Cheers. No problem. Um, James, you played a couple of games at left back this season for Stoke. How are you finding that position? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, obviously, learning uh, as each game goes on. Um, you know, I'm going to make mistakes along the way while, while I'm learning it. Yes, that's, that's natural. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm embracing it and I'm, I'm enjoying it. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm learning each uh, as each game goes on. So if I have to play there uh, going forward, then great, so good. And just a quick one on Nathan Collins. Obviously, you play with him uh, week in, week out. He's captain the side a couple of times. How is he as a player and as a leader at such a young age? It's refreshing because he's not your topical young modern day footballer now he's kinda got that old school mentality where it's kind of flashing flashing brash. It's uh he's focused on on how he's perceived as a footballer, not how he's perceived on, on, on social media and things like that. So he's level headed, he's taking it all in the straight, um you know, he's very composed on and off the pitch, which is a nice trait to have. Um but the lads definitely got a, a big future in the game and Obviously, being a teammate of of has a Stoke, it's it, it's good for Stoke, and obviously being international as well, it's 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 good for Ireland going forward. So yeah, we avoid putting too much pressure on him. I think the lad's gonna uh, have a big a big career. Thank you. Right. See you later.